Hey guys, even here, and in this video we're gonna talk about all the interesting stuff that happened in bodybuilding world in the past couple of days. And this right here, it is not a physique update of Phil Heath. I didn't want to put it in a thumbnail because some of you would think it's a clickbait, and it would be because I made a couple of videos regarding Phil Heath and his physique updates, and this one is not really recent. This is from the same expo in Britain where he was... I think last week and there are many photos of him that surfaced on social media and this is a new one i don't think you guys saw this one so i wanted to take this out of the way i wanted to show you this first so we can move on to more relevant topics and here you can see that phil heat is looking pumped he's looking 3d he's looking full he is looking like he can win the mr olympia 2019 he is not downsized he is full he is not flat everything is on point and i really hope that he's gonna compete I mean, he looks so fresh, he looks so motivated, he looks so ready, he looks big, and uh, let's wait for 8 weeks and see what happens, but hopefully we are gonna see improved field heat, and when I say improved, I mean without a bubble gut or distension in his abdomen. So, hopefully he's gonna fix his problem and regain his lost sando, and then later maybe win a couple of more, we'll see. It's that time of the year. It's that time of the year. You guys know that Mr. Olympia is coming up shortly. When Rolly Winkler starts uploading these kind of posing videos in that magical mirror over there in Kuwait in Oxygen Gym. And he looks like a Mr. Olympia. I don't think any of the other guys will be as full as he is, as big as he is. I don't think Phil he can be this big. No way. Now, Rolly's problem is not his size. It's not his fullness. It's not even his stomach anymore. It was back in the day, but not anymore. His problem is something that is not easily fixable, not at this point, and that's uh, the development of his back. His back tends to be a little bit shallow. The same thing goes with his whole back side, I mean, glutes and hamstrings as well. So that's the problem that Rolly has, but it was good enough for him to be third last year. And the guys who beat him are not here anymore. But there are new guys who made improvements, such as Brandon Curry, and maybe even William Bonac, but we'll see about that. And those guys have a very good chance to beat Rolly. Rolly is getting older, he's in his mid-40s, and you have Brandon who is in his mid-30s. So, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be about who brings what kind of conditioning. So, in 2019 Arnold Classic, Rolly lost against William and against Brandon because he wasn't conditioned. But if he comes conditioned in this Mr. Olympia 2019, I think he can beat them. I think he can beat them both. But Brandon Curry is actually known for making improvements. He's making improvements every single year. And that's the thing about him. So if he improves once again, Rowley, no matter how full and how big he is, he will not be able to beat Brandon because Brandon is more complete. He has weaker legs, but everything else is there. Unlike Rowley's back that is missing. Speaking about Brandon Curry, did you guys know that Brandon Curry used to do gymnastics back in the day? He's doing a backflip right here, and uh, he was not as big as he is today, but still, he's very muscular. Even here, he was probably bigger than most of you guys watching this video, and can you do something like this? Can you imagine doing something like this? I cannot. I most certainly cannot. I am the clumsiest person ever when it comes to this kind of stuff. I would not be able to do this, and I'm impressed by him. But I'm sure that he could actually do this right now. I believe so. I think he could do it, uh, even at this body weight, but he would probably get injured and that's why he doesn't want to risk it doing it on the stage, but he used to do it before, back then when it was allowed, actually. Today it is banned because a couple of guys broke their necks and died on the stage, so they are not letting them do this anymore, thankfully. And yeah, this is Brandon Curry when he was younger, and you can see the potential was there, it was obvious. He has those full muscle bellies, very long uh, insertions, very... Nice physique, I would just say, very nice physique, very good aesthetics. With a guy with this kind of genetics, with this small joints, small waist, very small waist, big arms, overall very aesthetic and impressive looking physique, even without a lot of muscle, becomes a professional bodybuilder when they actually gain a lot of mass. They usually do some big damage in bodybuilding shows, and that's what happened with Brandon Curry. So he made his post and he says, okay, since it's Thursday and lots of my fans are asking about my background, after I posted pics from my first show at 19 years old. Here's a little throwback Thursday of me when I was 21 competing in Miami. This was my third or fourth show. My athletic background comes from being a gymnast most of my life growing up. My dad is still to this day a gymnastic instructor. Once I got into middle school I started football and wrestling and then in high school I started football and continued to play football in college where I earned my degree in exercise physiology. So yeah, Brandon Curry comes from a gymnastics 
background and he used to do football just like almost any other bodybuilder from America and he would be a great representative of the sport since he has a college degree as well. Not super charismatic and interesting personality but he's a great guy, no drama about him whatsoever. Very calm guy, very very down to earth, humble and very nice person. He follows me on Instagram which is crazy, he's the only IBB bro that does. But that doesn't mean I'm rooting for him, I'm rooting for the best physique to win. And I think Brandon Curry has actually very big chances and everybody thinks so as well. But it will be between Roy Winkler, William Bonac and Brandon Curry or somebody completely out of that top three. But we'll see, maybe Phil Hill jumps in, maybe Kyrie jumps in, maybe somebody who was never in the top six improves and comes and wins it. I will make a video about this, separate one as I already promised. And let's go with the next thing I wanted to talk about and that is your future classic physique Mr. Olympia, Chris Bumstead. Who updated us with this photo? This is his current state and this is 8 weeks out, that's right, 8 weeks out and he is looking on point. I was just curious whether he's gonna actually manage to pack on the lost muscle after that kidney incident and actually discovering that he has a kidney disease, genetic one and that's not gonna go away, that's for life. He's gonna just have to deal with it the best that he can and uh, he can do it, he can do it. Apparently this year it all went fine because he definitely does look as big as he was last year. I don't think he made any improvements from last year, I think he's bigger, but if he got just a little bit bigger he would be ready for the open class where he actually turned pro originally. I think right here at this point where he is in this photo he has just enough muscle, he just needs to get lean. Now are his kidneys gonna allow him to do that, we'll see, we'll see, but if they do, if he comes peeled, if he comes on like he was in 2017, with this kind of muscle development, he will win the Mr. Olympia 2019, mark my words. And let's go with the next thing I want to talk about and that would be another physique competitor, but this time it's man's physique competitor and his name is Zach Hainsley, if I pronounce it correctly. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't follow this dude at all. I know that he's 11 weeks out and that's why I'm posting this video, he's 11 weeks out but from what? I have no idea. You can tell me down below, I think it's Mr. Olympia amateur, he's trying to turn pro. But let me know in the comment section and I wanted to say that I don't follow him because he has very annoying face. I know it is stupid to judge people by their looks, but this guy unfortunately just has that kind of look that makes you want to slap him. And uh, I don't want to do that really, it's just how it makes me feel and for that reason I just find it annoying looking at him, so I cannot really follow him on Instagram, so I don't know what show is he doing and also I don't follow man's physique that much, just a little, but uh, you can tell me what he is actually preparing for, although he looks very good, he has very big arms, very dominant arms and very overall pretty looking physique, very aesthetic, so great physique, I'm wondering why is he not placing higher, why he's not even a pro yet, but as far as his face I don't like it, I don't like it, but I see many people do because he has a lot of followers and very good physique, so that's about it. But if I'm already talking about men's physique, let me mention the Mr. Olympia men's physique competitor, Brandon Hendrickson, and this guy is looking very, very good, I'm really impressed by this physique, and right here it actually proves me why Zach Ensley is not in the top, because he doesn't look like this. This guy could be doing classic easily. These guys in man's physique, they don't have weight limit, so he may be even over the weight limit, but I don't think his legs are that big, although his upper body is looking very, very good. This small waist, broad chest, very full muscle, great conditioning, really makes his physique outstanding. This is something what actually motivated me to start working out in the beginning, one of the reasons. I mean, when I first started training, it was actually bodybuilders, open bodybuilders who motivated me, but before that, I was watching you know, TV shows like Small Wheel and that kind of stuff and those guys actually motivated me to start training in the first place because I wanted to look like them. But then later I figured out about the bodybuilders and that motivated me furthermore. Guys like this, for example, Ian Valier, who is a mass monster, who has huge potential, he's very young. I think he's gonna beat Nathan Diasho when it comes to placings at the Mr. Olympia in a few years. In a few years. But right now you can see him uh, showing us his abs, basically his conditioning. And I think it's... One week out from Lisbon, right? Portugal, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's it. And uh, yeah, he has very good chances to win that 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 competition. And it's not gonna be Henry Piardiano who's gonna win it. No way. He's classic easy guy. He got bigger, but he's not on that level. He will probably be one of the last places. Maybe his conditioning is gonna 
put him up there and his imagery and everything else. He has everything except size. He cannot compete against beasts like Ian here. But going back to physique guys, you can see Zach Ensley on the right and the Vasily Visters on the left. And just like the rest of the world, they took a shot and used the, the new face app filter and they look funny. Vasily reminds me of somebody, I'm not sure who, if you guys have any idea, comment down below. And Zach looks like a woman, maybe a little bit like Hillary Clinton, right? <laughs> and it seems when the older people are doing this, they look even more hilarious. For example, Marcus Rule right here, he looks freaking funny. But it's not as funny as Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> Ron is looking very creepy right here. I wouldn't let my kid play in a, in a playground if he was there sitting on a bench. No way. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, if I made you laugh a little bit, if I made you smirk a little at least, please like the video, help me out. And also, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future content coming out every single day, sometimes even two times and even three times a day. All my subscribers know that I'm very frequent and very fast when it comes to bodybuilding news. And that's about it for this video, guys. Please, once again, like the video and subscribe. All the best. Bye.